my channel. In today's video, we are gearing it towards Briar Fest because at this point, we are less than a month away and it is time to start thinking about what the heck are you supposed to pack? And what inspired me to do this video was where I work, Chewy, um, I have a work trip coming up in Florida that I'm leaving for this weekend. And I thought, what not a better way to um, get the weekend started than with a what to take with you video. So of course, Florida, that's its own packing, but I thought, We'll talk about Briar Fest because there's quite a bit you need to take with you. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your tickets handy. So in the past, Briar Fest has given um, the booklets with the tickets in it. However, this year, you're not going to get that. Everything's going to be completely digital. So with that, you want to make sure you have your phone handy. Um, if you don't want to use your phone at the park with your tickets, Briar did say that you could either screenshot it for a photo or you could print it out before you go. That way you have it like in hand in person. Um, I don't know what the Wi-Fi situation is like at the park, but um, hopefully those of you who want to use your phone for the tickets, you can do that and we'll, you know, it'll be an easy process. But I don't know about you guys, but I'm really going to miss like the in-person tickets. It was just nice to have that. You can just tear them out. And, you know, if you saw somebody that had a horse you wanted and you had a horse they wanted, you could just swap tickets around. So that's the first thing. Second thing is your phone. Cause like I mentioned, you're gonna need it for your tickets. Um, the third thing is you wanna make sure you have a bag with you. Um, your bag is gonna have your essentials in it. Um, but keep in mind, the bags that you take need to be small enough that you can take them into the Briar store. If you try to take a large bag into the Briar store, they are not gonna let you go in because they don't want anything that a traditional size model can fit into. So you wanna make sure you have a smaller bag or a fanny pack or even um, I bought a small bag from Paint Pony Studios. Um, so this would be perfect for carrying my money in. Um, so that way you don't have to either check bag or just not go in or have somebody hold it while you go into the store. So for those of you that are new to this process, keep in mind, you, can, you need to have a small bag. <clears throat> in that small bag, you're gonna have your phone, which I'm using my phone, phone to film on so I can't take it out of my travel bag, but um, some of the things I pack in here, and this is just like an over the shoulder one. Now my husband and I, we are Kings Island junkies. So I bought this last time we were at Kings Island to hold a water bottle in. So you wanna make sure you take some water with you and it would probably fit in here depending on the size of the bottle. Um, and that's another thing too. So into the horse park, you're, park, you're allowed to take coolers and you can take your own water. They do have food trucks now and they do have a concession stand in the covered arena. So you wanna make sure that you bring money for those if that's your preferred way to go. But we always pack our lunch and take it uh, first off, it's cost savings, and second of all, um, we have it handy for when we need it, and we can just eat on the go. So a lot of times, like, I'll have the workshops on Friday and Saturday, or sometimes I do the model horse show, and we had the food right there. We could just eat real quick, and we were good. So um, typically what we would take for food is just, like, sandwiches or, you know, something portable, something to keep cold, and you want to take a, you know, you can take a cooler, and we usually take, like, a small lunchbox because there's just the two of us, and we just have a few things to keep cold, so we don't have to go, like, all out with a big cooler. All right, so then in your park bag, you can bring, if you want, a cooling towel. Now, this did come from the VIP pack last year from Briar Fest, so it's just you get it wet, and then after you got it wet, you could just keep it around your shoulders for the day, and it's nice and cool, and anytime you need to recharge and get it re-wet, of course, you know, you can find water fountains, or if you bring water, you can just dunk it in real quick, or the bathroom sinks, you can dunk it in there, but that's a great way to keep cool. Um, the next thing you want is your wallet with your money in it, um, because you're either going to have cash, which you'll probably take to clear on with you, because the horse park is cashless. Uh, Briar Fest did say last year that they're just going to cards. So if you take cash, they have the cash machines where you can just put it in and you have a card, like a Visa card right there or debit card or almost gift card. <laughs> so if any of you use those last year, you know what I'm talking about. So there's that. And then I always take like a little medicine pack with me, like just for like, if I get overheated and I get a headache or um, if we're walking a lot and our feet stop start hurting, like you can take your medicine out and you can take that. And then a good thing to have too would be like a mini first aid kit because if you're walking around all day and you're wearing tennis shoes, sometimes they rub and you want to get, um, and you get blisters and you might just want to pop a bandaid on there real quick. So that is what is in my park bag. Um, sunscreen, you'll want to take that too. I don't have my sunscreen in this one because that's just kind of a sneak peek of some of the things I take. Um, sunscreen is essential. It's going to be extremely hot. It's going to be humid. Even though you're going to be indoors, you're, you're going to be outdoors too. There's all kinds of things to do. So you want to make sure that you have 
sunscreen handy. So that is your essentials, like what you would pick, take to the park and your park bag. Um, so next, let's talk the Clarion. So if you've got a room at the Clarion, you want to bring your list of ponies. So I actually have a small notebook that I always write down my ponies and who I want. And then at the hotel, I believe, they actually have a map of the hotel. And as you go along, you can write down the room numbers that you went in that you want to go back to. And it just makes it easier to go back. So you want to make sure you have those handy. And then if you're selling out of your room, you want to take some painter's tape because you might want to hang up some posters advertising your room. Like, hey, we have these ponies. Come check us out. I like those. I like looking at those posters. I will look at them to see if I can find what I want. If you are selling your ponies, you're going to make sure you take them with you. Um, a lot of people either just lay them out on their bed or put them on the shelving unit um, that's already in the room, like the mini desk, or other people actually bring like big shelving units. So those of you who have been, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who are new, you are going to be overwhelmed. This is very overwhelming at the Clarion. <laughs> um, another thing is you want to bring your tags to price your horses with. Um, and then doorstop, we found is very essential. And you want to bring trash bags too, because you know, the small trash bags and small trash cans sometimes just don't get the job done. So you might want to bring one that's a little bigger. Um, with the doorstop, it is very handy. And we finally learned after, I don't even know how many years ago going that we need this because otherwise we're trying to shove bubble wrap under the door. We're trying to use a trash can and the door just keeps closing on us. So, <laughs> um, so that's what you would need for the Clarion. I was trying to think if there's anything else. And you want to bring, of course, your buddy, spouse, husband, friend, if you're going single, you know, maybe you got some friends that you're going to meet up with and you guys are going to like pretty much shop till you drop. So, um, and then there's the, so at the Clarion also, if you're doing the swap meet, you want to make sure you bring all your ponies and stuff to sell. Um, if you're doing the artisans gallery, you want to make sure that you bring your, you know, all your custom models, what you're selling. Um, some people have stickers, some have business cards, you know, people are just trying to like promote and get, you know, get their, um, custom pages and stuff out there, which I think is really cool. Also, for some YouTubers, um, Instagrammers, anybody else who's either at the Clarion going to the horse park, you want to bring your gear with you. So I will be wearing this shirt as well as a black one throughout the weekend. I did get two white and two black. Um, the white ones are great for a cool day at the horse park. Oh, and something else I just thought of We'll come back to that stuff in a minute. But something else I just thought of for your park bag is you might want to bring like USB cords or um, the cords for the newer phones. I forget what they're called, like USC or something. And you want to bring like a battery uh, pack because you're going to take a lot of pictures. You're going to want to film some video. So you want to make sure you have that handy. All right. So then you take your shirts and then you want to take your anything that you know is advertising your channel so I have this water globe thing and I know we did a video like a little bit ways back where we talked about what to expect at Briarfest I did show some of these things so I'm just kind of like doing a um a, like a reminder like oh hey don't forget these things um I do have stickers I will be handing those out again and this year I have some little goodie bags coming so I'm going to put together um so goodie bags will have keychains magnets and two different sizes of stickers in them so if you see me and you want one I will gladly give you one all right so in the past also um we did have wristbands for VIP and all access but of course being digital we don't but this is one thing you would want to remember to bring with you also and then you want to bring your spending book with you. So this is a budget book. This was bought off a girl off Facebook. She did a wonderful job putting these together. And it's just got like your hotel expenses, your budget for your horses, everything, food, that kind of stuff. So that's all in there. Um, and I think that is pretty much it as far as what you're going to pack to take with you. And you know, you take your essentials like your toiletries and your shorts and extra tennis shoes and all that. But I definitely wanted to show you like the must things and the things that I often forget <laughs> because Briar Pets gets very overwhelming and I actually have like two containers of ponies that I need to go through to actually find out who I'm going to take for my sales this year. Um, so I'll be doing that at some point and then, you know, if you want to take other things to do as the evening closes down and winds down for you, like, you know, laptops, iPads, like if you're doing social media stuff, um, if you want to swim at your pools at your hotels, you know, you take your swimming gear, so... That is pretty much it. Um, 
I can't really think of anything else right now, but if I do, I will leave you guys in on that because I think just packing for Briar Fest is a big thing in itself. And you just want to make sure that you have everything. And if you're bringing your pets because you're staying at a pet friendly hotel, don't forget their essentials. Bring them plenty of water. Um, just make sure they're good to go as well. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it beneficial and I hope to see you at the horse park. And if not, maybe, you know, connect online or something. Um, but I'm excited. We're, we're getting close. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off and finish packing for Florida. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.